Hey everyone, it's me Henry and welcome back to the channel. Today, oh my god, OMG, I am speechless because I have a set in my possession that I never thought I'd actually get because it's actually quite expensive. It's probably the most expensive Lego set to date and is part of the Ultimate Collector's Series Edition from the Star Wars line. Do you have an idea what that is? Well, let me show you. I'm so excited! Let's just get right into the intro. Hit it! So the first question is, how big is this set? Well, in terms of the height, it's about 25 inches. The width is 10 inches and the length of this is 28 inches. So it's quite significant of a size. Now that is something that originally attracted me to the set and I was like, yeah, I definitely want it because it's such a great display piece. Now what's included with this set? Let's get into it. Some of the features with this set include rotating cannons and bomb drop hatch. Included are two speeder bikes and one E-Web heavy repeating blaster. The interior can also store up to 40 minifigures and four speeder bikes. The at, -AT also comes with poseable legs and head with panels that lift off to reveal the interior. And lastly, of course, has a hook feature to attach to Luke Skywalker's line. So there's a lot of great things this set has to offer. Now, am I gonna open this set? Well, ideally I wanted to do a video on this, but I knew this would probably be a two part series with obviously the time that it would take for me to build this set. Now, just to give you a little bit of backstory on how I got this set, I was not looking to purchase this whatsoever. Again, this does retail for about $950 for taxes, and that can be quite expensive. But I thought maybe I can go ahead and trade up. Because here in Halifax, in the Atlantic region, there isn't a Lego store, it's quite tough to come across anything that's UCS or anything that's 18 plus. So the only way that I actually go and buy stuff is either through the Lego website directly, and if it's actually sold out, then I go in onto Facebook Marketplace and see if I can find someone that's willing to ship. The good thing about this is I was able to find someone who was willing to ship to me from the United States in Washington State, Stan. So Stan, thank you, thank you so much for working on a trade with me to get this beauty my way. Thank you so much. All right, so let's get right into it. Let's go ahead and break down what this amazing set features. I'll go ahead and show you around the box so you can see just a better visual of what's included in this. And we'll go from there. Let's do it. All right, so let's get right into what the box looks like from all angles. So let's go ahead and start rotating it to the side here. So on the side here, you can clearly see the front of the at, -AT. I love how they designed the box. Again, I just can't wait to build this and see how it translates in person. On the back end here, you get a bit more of an insight look of what to expect. So taking a look inside, as I mentioned to you before, it has panels that open up to reveal the inside. As you can see inside, you have all the seats here available for the uh, snow troopers to sit in. And as mentioned here, you have the speeder bikes listed in the back. So the whole intention is that you buy more of these guys to fill out the rest of the seats. Now, coincidentally, in the month of January of 2022, guess what LEGO came out with? Voila, this right over here, the Snow Trooper Battle Pack. So if you wanna fill up this baby here to fill all seats, you're gonna need a total of, I think, 12 to 13 of these guys to make that happen. So on top of, the almost a thousand dollar set you're going to be buying more of these guys if you're looking to complete it so anyways i'll be picking up more of these as i go but that'll just be another video as i do that but anyways going back to here as you can see you have all the seats available moving into the head itself there are some seats also here in the front there's a total i think three minifigures can fit there as well too down here is the feature here with the cable as i mentioned before with luke skywalker which i believe is able to go down and up retract up and down that is We'll have to verify once I actually build the set. Here you have an actual blueprint of the set itself in terms of the dimensions of how large the set is. As we move down, as you can see, there are some really cool features that this set actually includes. And based on the movie, you can clearly see the scenes reenacted. So you have Luke Skywalker here, just like here as well too. You have the at, -AT walking outside the front of the at, -AT inside of the at, -AT. 
and then some more cool features here on the right hand side. So as I mentioned to you before, it has the swivel feature with the head. You're able to actually move the cannon guns, which is great. It comes with an official plaque as well that you can have in front of it. And the legs are movable and posable, which makes this even a better feature. So really, really like that. Let's go ahead and turn it around again. Which side is it now? I think it's this side here. And here is the butt, the behind as you can see. So that's pretty much it to that. Now, you know what? Let's go to the top of the box to show you the actual minifigures. Let's do it. And here is the top. So altogether, as mentioned earlier, there is a total of nine minifigures that come with a set. With this set, you get four snow troopers. You get one snow trooper commander, two AT-AT drivers, General Veers, and one Luke Skywalker minifigure. The only thing I'd have to say about this is for the price of $1,000 before taxes, I was hoping that at least they would include all of the snow troopers to fully fit and complete the inside of the at, -AT. But then again, at the same time, I also understand that nine main figures is pretty good. And for what you're getting in terms of size of this at, -AT I guess it's justifiable, but I just would have wished they would have thrown that in. That's my only feedback for this. But until I build it and put it together, I'm sure there'll be more things that I can definitely give feedback on. But for now, this is the top of the box and we were able to see all the different sides of this box here. All right, so that brings an end my video. I hope you enjoyed this review as much as I did. And again, I'm just blown away that I have this set in my possession. Either way, stay tuned on the channel because I will probably be doing a build and review on this. Probably a two part series, we'll see. But thanks again for stopping by, but I will see all of you next week. Until then, See you later.